Hey, welcome back to One C One World. If you haven't been here before, my name is Todd, and this channel focuses primarily on raised bed gardening, as well as some build projects, chickens, recipes, and a few other odds and ends that we do along uh, the way. And uh, if you have already subscribed, then thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me again today. So this year, in addition to all the regular gardening stuff, we're gonna be doing something uh, a little bit different. We are going to team up and do some collaboration videos with another YouTube channel. We are teaming up with the Lacey Family Farm from California and uh, Scott from Lacey Family Farm and I are gonna do a bit of a grow, cha uh, grow challenge. And so you should jump on over to Scott's channel when you're done with this video and subscribe to him. He's got some cool videos on chickens, goats, and his goose Clarence, and uh, a lot of good stuff there as well. And so here's a quick introduction for Scott. Hey One Seed One World, this is Scott with Lacey Family Farms. Here at the farm, we focus more primarily on animals like chickens, ducks, goats, and even a goose. So growing stuff while we want to learn more is not our specialty, so this should be interesting for sure. Here we are in Southern California, so it's a little bit warmer climate than where you're at, so that should give me a little bit of an advantage. I've also been watching all of your videos and trying to gain as many tips as possible and using your own videos against you, so watch out because here I come. All right, thanks Scott. Looking forward to doing these collaboration videos this year and uh, seeing how this whole thing goes. So what is going on with these collaboration videos? What is it exactly that we're gonna be doing? We will be doing the artichoke challenge. Artichokes. We are going to do a grow challenge uh, on growing artichokes and so the benefit that this is going to have for you is that not only did you, you will get to see our little growing challenge where we're going to compete on maybe who can get the biggest artichoke or the, the biggest harvest of artichokes, uh, but we are also going to be providing you with information on the two different growing areas. Scott's in California, I'm in Maryland, and so we've got two different growing zones, climates, all that kind of thing, and so we'll be able to compare and show you how these artichokes grow in our two different areas, whether it's you know the environment, the pest problems, um, you know any type of disease issues. Hopefully, we don't run into any of those things, and that we just get a big, beautiful harvest. But you know you'll be able to learn with us as we go along the way. So before I get into the planting, what I want to do is with each one of these episodes here on, on this channel is I want to give you like little tidbits of stories about artichokes uh, as we go along. There's a lot of cool history of artichokes. And so with each episode, I will give you another little cool uh, background story when it comes to the history of artichokes. So here we go for artichoke history. So for today's episode, we'll be cover covering uh, some artichoke history from the 1920s in the New York area. So back in the early 1920s, mob was kind of the mob, the mafia was kind of a big deal. There was a mobster by the name of Ciro Terranova, and once he came into power for the Morello family, he be started focusing on the amount of money that he could make on artichokes and he got the name the artichoke king and he created this big monopoly where he took out all the other uh, kind of competition around him he bought up all the artichokes available and then would sell them at three times the price in addition to that he harassed any other people that were trying to sell artichokes other distributors him and his thugs would go in at night to artichoke fields and hack down all of these uh, artichoke plants with machetes and basically ran the, uh, the artichoke market for New York. It got so bad actually with, with some of the stuff that was going on that the mayor at the time of New York City, Mayor LaGuardia, he put a ban on the sale, display, or, or dis distribution of artichokes. However, the story goes that actually Mayor LaGuardia loved artichokes so much that the ban only lasted a week and then he lifted the ban so that he could get his artichokes again. So when you think of the mafia, you don't think about artichokes, something that we never saw in The Godfather. They should have included that. 
You come here on the day of my daughter's wedding and ask for a favor of a plate of artichokes. Uh, the artichoke monopoly was not included in the Godfather movies. It was actually an episode on the show The Untouchables, which ran from like late 1950s to early 1960s. And Ciro Terranova's character was uh, played by Jack Weston. Um, and they actually had a, an episode in season one called The Artichoke King that kind of covered that story. So if you like the old mobster shows and movies, you know, you can check that out. Okay, so let's first go over the three varieties that we're going to be covering in this grow challenge. The first one is the Green Globe Artichoke. It takes about 150 days from the time that you transplant it from indoors to outdoors to get to harvest. And this is probably the most common artichoke that you would see when it comes to uh, artichokes that you buy in the store. The second variety is the Violet Day Pro Provence artichoke. Now this one takes a little bit longer from transplant to harvest, 180 days. This is a French heirloom and it's noted for its fine flavor, the pretty purple buds and the lovely large ornamental plants, especially if you let it go to bloom. The third and final variety is a Colorado Red Star artichoke. Now this one is listed as one being an easier to grow artichoke. It can be grown as an annual from seed and can be used in a wider range of climates than the other two. It kind of has more of a purplish green to its buds and according to the description it forms a perfect globe shape. The other good thing about this variety it is it has it's a hybrid that does better with forming the artichokes for harvest in its first year. So I've got my soil already set up here in the containers. Besides sterilizing the soil, what I also did to prepare it for the planting was to put it in my mini greenhouse uh, in the basement with, with the lights and heat for a few hours. Uh, and in my greenhouse now it's about 78 degrees. So that has warmed the soil up. Um, I still need to add some more water to this once I plant it, but uh, I have bottom watered um, these containers, so it's already soaked up some of the moisture and put a little bit of water on top, but I'll probably add a little bit more. Although, actually, this feels pretty... I might not need to add any more to the top. That feels pretty good. So, for planting any varieties of your artichokes, all three of these, the depth that you want to plant them, just get them started off, is about a quarter inch to a half inch deep in your soil. And so, I'm just making some little holes here where I can drop my seeds. And I'm not sure which ones yet that I'm going to use for the competition with Lacey Family Farms. Uh, however, I think that probably the one that I will go with the most is this Colorado Red Star just because it is better for my type of climate and might not take as much work, in theory anyway. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna do four containers of the artichoke red star and then three each of the green globe and uh, the violet did prevent um, and then we'll see how each of those do so artichoke seeds are fairly small but not too small but they remind me a little bit of like maybe a, a shelled sunflower seed uh, or maybe a shelled pumpkin seed inside um, and so these are the uh, colorado red star so i'll be putting two seeds per pot, just in case I have any germination issues. That'll give me a, a double chance to sprout, and then if I need to, I will uh, thin them out after they sprout and, and kind of start getting established a little bit. And so I'm gonna get these all filled, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so we've got all the seeds in there and I've got them in the greenhouse. I added some more bottom water and then I'll check the tops. So the soil was kind of a, a nice damp consistency overall and so I didn't want to add any more top water and we'll let the rest of the water wick up from the bottom. So artichokes, you want to plant two to three months before your last frost date. They do take a while to germinate. They can take a while, 
basically anywhere from, depending on the variety and your growing conditions, but on average from 10 days to three weeks before you really start to see them take off. And then from there, we'll have to do a couple of other things to get them ready to go outside to do transplanting and take it on out from there, which we'll be covering in the future episodes. So now we've got it started. Um, the other thing that you want to consider if you want to grow artichokes is they are heavy feeders. So you, you're going to need some sort of preferably organic fertilizer that you can give them a, probably two or three times throughout the year, especially like when you transplant and then a couple of times to feed them over the summer and fall months until they're ready. Uh, so something like a like rabbit poop um, or you know other really good compost that maybe you've made or if you want to get some sort of liquid fertilizer you can get like some of those seaweed and fish emulsion fertilizers would do well for your artichokes. So if you also want to grow artichokes along with us this year and, and kind of just jump in and, and join in on the challenge and, and give us your numbers at the end of the year that would be awesome as well. So we're looking forward to doing these collaboration videos and we hope that you stay tuned to follow it as we go along. And so we'll uh, follow up again in a couple weeks and show you once things start sprouting and, and where we're at, you know, there. So I'll be doing a version here on my channel and then Scott will be doing a version on his channel as well. We'll both be providing two different bits of information and there'll also be some combo videos on, on both sides where we're both in there. So, uh, but you'll get to see both sides if you if you follow along with both of them. But thanks for stopping by today, checking out another video. I hope whatever's going on in your neck of the woods is going fantastic for you and that you are starting to get some of your early seeds started. And uh, I don't know, hope you're having a great day. See you again soon. Namaste.